since it's often hard to get into a new series uh, of comic books, stuff like that, what I can recommend are a few books uh, and series to start you off. So, like, if you're getting lost of where to start with a series, uh, I can highly recommend Wonder Woman by Tom King and Daniel Sempe. This is a good uh, place to start for when I start reading Wonder Woman. And I'm going to start you off with a bunch of other series that you might want to check out if you want to start reading certain characters. Next, I have Batman by Chip Zdarsky and Jorge Jimenez. The failsafe book will be the first trade you'll pick up if you want to start reading this. It's a very good, awesome story, really action-packed, and like really puts Batman to the ringer. And um, yeah, the artwork is fantastic, looks like this the whole way through. Um, yeah, I would start off with this. If you want to start reading Batman, you would start here. Superman by Joshua Williamson and Jamal Campbell. This is where you would start if you wanted to start reading Batman. This is during the dawn of DC era. Um, it's quite recent. It's on issue 16 now, but the trades are easy to pick up at your local comic shop um, or online on Amazon, stuff like that. But this is where you would start with that run, and I highly recommend starting here instead of in the middle of the series. Next, we have Immortal Thor by Al Ewing. Um, it's a very awesome book. Um, right off his run from Immortal Hulk, he takes on Thor, really brings him back to his roots, and introduces like a lot of more old school god like the Utgard Thor like an older version of Thor but like a different universe it really follows his mother Gaia as well very awesome story I would really highly recommend then we re then I recommend uh, Captain America by uh, J. Michael Straczynski very awesome really going back to his roots like he's like more street level at the moment but it does get into more like supernatural threats more more so than he usually does because usually he fights more like espionage type threats and this is more supernatural which is very interesting for Captain America but I highly recommend it this is where you would start. Iron Man's run just ended so I would recommend starting with the new run starting in November um, it's very cool it's going back to his roots like he's just gotten his, some of his money back from his company from the previous run um, and he's going to fight a war against Roxxon and AIM it's very interesting the suit is also very like steampunk steampunk in, uh, inspired it's very cool then I would recommend The Ultimate Spider-Man by Jonathan Hickman and Marco Cicchetto. The whole Ultimate Ultimates run at the moment is pretty interesting. There's like Ultimate X-Men, Ultimate Black Panther and Ultimates. Uh, Ultimates is specifically is very important to the overall story. And um, Ultimate Spider-Man is just probably the best Spider-Man in the last 5 to 10 years, honestly. It's very consistent, it's very fun. It's an older Peter Parker with a family, that's very cool. But I highly recommend that. Then for X-Men, I would uh, recommend Jed McKay, who's also writing Avengers at the moment, so you can read them interchangeably. Uh, but he's writing the new X-Men book, and it's going to cross over soon as well, so I would highly recommend picking up both books if you want to read that. Um, it's really going back to basics for them, because the Krakoa, the, the big event that they were just part of, that just blew up, and they are like very street level now, only relying on themselves at the moment. So I would highly recommend this. And the following Uncanny X-Men by Gail Simone and Dave Marquez. These this, these two books are very good to read. This is a more classic team, especially if you watch the X-Men 97 TV show. This will be very familiar to you, the, the team makeup. Very cool. Then the big event for Venom at the moment, Venom War. It's five issues. I would highly recommend getting this if you really want to get into Venom. It's got Dylan Brock and Eddie Brock and every other person who's ever held a symbiote uh, involved. Spider-Man as well. And also this future version of of Eddie at the far right corner there. Uh, he's like a time traveler one, he's the big bad of the story. So I would highly recommend this as well. The first issue is out now, and um, yeah, just check out your local stores. And out in December or early January, you'll get the all new Venom, which ends, this happens at the end of Venom War, and this is what you would um, be reading. This is a new person holding this the symbiote suit, by the way. So we don't know much about this yet, but this is the new story. It's gonna be Al Ewing again from Venom War. He'll be writing this series as well. And then right off the the, this, the last event that just happened for Blood Hunt for Marvel Comics, Doctor Doom became the Sorcerer Supreme. And now Spider-Man, this is where you would read Spider-Man. This is where you, the big place you would jump onto if you want to read Spider-Man. Because he and uh, Doctor Doom are going to have like a big uh, get together and he's going to get a new suit. Very awesome. The magical suit. It's written by Joe Kelly with Ed McGuinness art. I'm really excited for this. But these are some picks that you guys can look up and um, yeah, they should be available to your local shops or Amazon. Check them out.